On Hitting the Books this week, we're taking a look at another book to do with the Orioles. This is it. It's 60 Years of Oriole Magic. Jim Henneman, who has covered the Orioles forever, is the man who put this book together. Jim, uh, tell us about the book. Well, you know, somebody asked me about the research for it, and I said, well, it wasn't so much like research as it was, as it was living it. So uh, the one thing I like best about it is it, it, pretty much nothing in here that I'm not familiar with. So uh, I was at the very first game, uh, covered the team for 30-plus years, uh, still hanging around doing my thing, and, uh, and, and really very, very honored that they asked me to do this. You have seen more Oriole games than anybody alive. I've heard that. You think that's true? Probably. I mean, I, you know, I mean, it's a it's a remaining eligible uh, <laughs> category, if you know what I mean. Uh, but I, I think the fact that I traveled so much, you know, yeah. if my good buddy Ellie was still around now, I'd be a distant second. But uh, <laughs> I, unfortunately, I probably had passed him somewhere along the line, you know, because he certainly spent more in uniform than anybody. Right. When you put the book together, what was it that you were trying to get done primarily? I, you know, I really, you know, it, it's, it's kind of a history book, and I'm not used to writing history books. Uh, I, I tried to make each chapter like a, a column or a story. I tried to, tried to find an angle to everything uh, rather than just say, you know, make it really, really chronological. And as a matter of fact, I didn't even write it chronologically. I, I, I looked for something that, I, that stuck in my mind, and believe it or not, I started with the, the chapter that started after the last time they world the World Series because I used a quote from Rick Dempsey that probably from the story I wrote that day, now comes the tough part. And Lord knows, now came the tough part. <laughs> what, anything surprise you? Sometimes when you do these sorts of things, something comes back on you that maybe you weren't expecting. Anything like that happen? I don't know that it, anything it, it, it surprised. There were some things that I found that kind of really startled me. Uh, I knew that Gus Triandos was a good defensive catcher. You look at his defense with numbers, it blows you away. It absolutely blows you away. The percentage of stolen bases against him. His, his thing was like, his career numbers or around 50 percent, which is pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. He was their first uh, big-time hitter. But you know, there was a couple things along the ways. I mean, I remember being stunned that uh, that Eric Bedard broke a, a strikeout record that wasn't even held by Jim Palmer, for instance. You know, so <laughs> things like that uh, they they kind of they kind of stick with you. Yeah. Books or columns? What do you think you'd prefer to write? Uh, well, I, you know, my kids all want me to write a book. You know, I want me to do my own thing, and uh, this doesn't necessarily satisfy him, but uh, it might have to. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I like to write human stuff. I like, I, I'm a humanizer, I think, so I like to write about profiles, guys okay. like that. All right, well, Jim, uh, thank you very much for joining us. This is the book, Orioles, 60 Years of Orioles Magic. We wish you great uh, success with it, and appreciate you coming on with us. Thanks so much, Gary. Appreciate it.